It was late August. First one hit about 7.30 in the morning. In Jones, Oklahoma. And about three hours later, another one. Without warning. The heaviest one was a 3.7, about 9.30 in the evening. Shook my chair. Earthquakes in Oklahoma. Oklahoma has an amazing range of earthquakes. Every year we have between a minimum of 20. We've had as many as 167 earthquakes in a year. Faults lie all across Oklahoma. Some of the most active just north of El Reno. That are causing most of the earthquakes that we see in the state. The Anadarko Basin is a massive underground geological formation in west central Oklahoma. Every so often, it settles along these faults. An earthquake is formed when you actually have rapid displacement either laterally or vertically on the fault plain. Since the Anadarko Basin and most of these faults are south and west of Green Country, so are most Oklahoma earthquakes. At the Geological Observatory here in Leonard, Oklahoma, seismometers like this are so sensitive that footsteps trigger the seismograph needle. Here we study and record every motion in the state of Oklahoma. We record at least seven worldwide earthquakes per day. The recent earthquake that rocked Indonesia was roughly one million times stronger than most local earthquakes, which are rarely stronger than a magnitude two on the Richter scale. But there are exceptions. Between two and three, they're felt. Between three and four, people become alarmed. And then rarely we have one up to five that can actually cause damage. On April 9th, 1952, it happened. A magnitude 5.5 earthquake near El Reno. It put a 15 um, meter crack in the state capitol building and it was felt actually by six other states. Despite this, most earthquakes within the area are too weak to be a threat. If we step outside, the one area of concern would be the New Madrid. That is an area around Memphis, Tennessee. This area could trigger an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5, about as strong as the recent Indonesian earthquake. If the New Madrid earthquake were to occur again, then we might see some minor damage. There would be damage, I mean, without a doubt. Because Tulsa is only 365 miles from New Madrid. However, this type of earthquake hits every 2,000 years. The last one was 200 years ago. Average Joe on the street in northeastern Oklahoma will probably never feel an earthquake. Meteorologist George Waldenberger, 2 News works for you.